I'm single, for those of you who can't tell by the fact that I brought my whole family here. <laughs> I'm single. My little sister isn't single, which is very weird for me. I'm not going to start telling jokes about you, Kaylin. I know it'll make you uncomfortable. <laughs> No, I, um, I am single. I've been dating around a little bit. I recently broke up with this guy. We had started dating, but the problem is, like, so, okay. He was tall, he was cute, he was funny, and there's just one thing. There's always just one thing, am I right, y'all? He had just gotten dumped. Like a week before we'd started seeing each other. By his therapist. <laughs> Seeing a therapist, that's the problem. I mean, like, I'm a millennial Gen Z cusp. I think everyone should be in therapy. I'm not personally in therapy, not because I don't believe in it. I mean, like, my parents are in my phone as mommy and daddy, so definitely should be in therapy. Um, no, it wasn't him seeing a therapist that was the problem. It was the fact that, like, this is a woman who has a degree that says that she is able to identify and fix red flags. And yet she determined that either he had too many or too few red flags and said, I'm out. So I looked at that and thought, I can fix him. <laughs> but when she normally says that, she's right. I don't know why I thought that I was harder than her. Um, circling back to my drinking problem. You ever hear that <laughs> philosophy that what alcohol you go for says something about like who you are as a person, right? Like that's like a commonly held belief. Like if you like gin and tonics, you have a complicated relationship with your father. <laughs> if you um, if you still drink Bud Light past the age of 19, then someone needs to tell you that you're never gonna make it on your college baseball team, Brandon. <laughs> For me, when I was in college, my drink of choice was Peach Andre. Does anybody here know what Peach Andre is? No? Mostly no? These are, this is a classy audience. That makes sense. So Peach Andre, for those of you who don't know, is peach-flavored sparkling Moscato. Put Moscato in quotes because I don't think they're legally allowed to call it Moscato. But so um, that meant that when I was in college, I was a woo girl who thought that I was better than everyone from my college town. Still do. <laughs> now, I was, uh, I was such a woo girl that when I was growing up, so my mom, this gives you great context for who my mom is as a person. Um, my mom, when I was growing up, told me, Courtney, if you ever want to find a husband, you need to learn about football. And so I took it upon myself to watch every single episode of Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team on country music television. <laughs> Awesome, I'm so glad we have a compatriot here. Dallas Cowboys Shillers, great TV show. And it ended up working out. Joke's on all of y'all, because later this week, I have a date with a Boston Red Sox player. And before you come to me, uh, thank you very much, before you come to me after this show and say, Courtney, the Boston Red Sox is not a football team. I know. But it's close enough. They both have balls. You're trying to keep away from the other team. And they're both way too long. Except one of them has a break in the middle. And I can get corn dogs during that. <laughs> and that is what is important to me in a relationship. <laughs> um, no, I am I am single. Um, I've started dating some like shorter guys. When I was in college, I um, I was dating exclusively guys who were above six feet tall, and now I'm starting to date shorter guys because I realized that at the end of the day, everyone's going to leave you. <laughs> But shorter guys are just that much easier to get over. <laughs> Plus he has a really he has a really nice apartment. And uh, that's given me a new perspective on the concept of colonization. Anyway, my name is Courtney Zelazny. Thank you so much for supporting me. <laughs>